Hey guys, even here and I had to make a separate video on this since Brandon Curry's coach uploaded this video of him posing at 7 weeks out and as you can see he looks freaking impressive but pay attention to those quads, pay attention to those legs I mean do we need to talk about his upper body? Everybody knows he has the most complete upper body on that stage by far I mean you can find some muscles that feel he has more dominant maybe even Rolly and Bonac but nobody is as complete as Curry I mean nobody has this kind of waist this small tiny waist these perfect symmetrical abs combined with very full muscle bellies on his arms on his biceps triceps forearms chest perfect back crazy back low lats full back thickness is there everything is on point his only weakness is his legs, but yeah, his legs are a little bit smaller, but I wouldn't really say that the size is the problem as much. What I think is even bigger problem is the depth of those muscles in his quads and hamstrings, the deep striations. Here you can see exactly what I mean. So compare the quads on William and on Brandon here. So look at the depth, the depth of those striations in his quads. The size, sure, I mean, William has bigger legs, Brandon's legs are not as big and not as full, but they're not that much smaller, right? They're pretty big, they're not that small, but the details and deep separations are lacking. And I think he fixed that to a certain extent right now, based on this video right here. I mean, I don't know how is it even possible to make these kind of changes in such a short time for somebody on that level. You guys know that these guys on this level don't make a lot of progress year after year. But Brandon Curry is redefining the sport by doing that. He's making crazy improvements year after year. Not only year after year, but season after season. I mean, spring season and fall season, he's making crazy improvements. I mean, look at the legs. Yeah, the quality of this video is horrible, so you can't really see very clearly. But I think it's obvious. I think the striations are better now. The details are looking better, more prominent. The depth of the muscles, I mean look at the, the medialis right there, it's looking deeper than before, that's for sure, and every single part of the quadriceps. His adapters grew a lot because he realized that the outer sweep is not gonna be his strength, never, probably, because he doesn't have the genetics for it. But the inner part of his thighs is something he can work on easily, so he worked on that and he gained, he gained a lot of muscle and this creates a cra crazy illusion. So, apparently, now his legs are looking much bigger. I mean, would you say this is a small set of legs? I would not say so. I think he improved his legs a lot. Don't even talk about his upper body. His upper body is perfect. Nothing else you can add. I mean, he's destroying everybody in his upper body department, but the legs were the problematic part. And I don't think that's the case anymore. I mean, look at the legs. Not ideal, not perfect. And guys, this is not competition ready. This is seven weeks out. So he has seven more weeks to train his legs probably twice a week to get the details and the strations even more prominent to get lean, super lean, diced so he can show a lot of details in those quads and they're gonna look much better by the time Mr. Olympia comes and I think if he brought the same package from 2019 Arnold Classic with those legs and with that upper body it would be good enough to win 2019 Mr. Olympia but no I'm pretty sure he's bringing much better package. He's bigger than ever. I mean, look at everything. He's bigger than ever. He's fuller than ever. And the details in his squads are looking more prominent. I think we're looking at 2019 Mr. Olympia right here. And I think this is probably going to be like five times Mr. Olympia. We can only just imagine how much will he improve in the next years to come. Maybe he's going to have world-class legs eventually, like Phil Heath. Phil Heath was known for having horrible back and then he created one of the best packs in the history of the world. Maybe same thing goes with Brandon, we'll see. We do know that he makes a lot of improvements year after year, competition after competition, and he's 36. He's not like 46. He has time to progress. And he will, I'm sure. And I'm pretty confident that he is winning 2019 Mr. Olympia. And nobody will mind. This man has no haters. He has zero haters. Who hates on Brandon? Why would somebody hate on him? This guy is perfect. He's flawless. Physique-wise, maybe not so much, but personality-wise, he never had any drama with anybody. He's super kind, he's nice to everybody, he's just too nice. Anyways guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Tell me what you think about Brandon Curry. 
Whoa, whoa, wait, I need, to, I need to roll this one more time. I have to do it. Look at this most muscular. Look at this. Forget about the legs. Look at the upper body. Jesus Christ. Wow. So full. So much muscle. This guy is packed. This is crazy. Very, very good physique, guys. I am blown away. I can't wait to see him at the Mr. Olympia. Can't wait to see what he has to bring. Good luck, Brandon, but I'm sure you don't need it. You're gonna destroy everybody with this kind of package. Crazy, crazy physique. I'm really happy because this is what 2019 Mr. Olympia needed. Something like this to save it. Yep. Anyways, guys, once again, tell me what you think about it. Do you think he improved his legs? If you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you want to see more, subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.